गुड मॉर्निंग चिंते सो आई होप यू ऑल आर फाइन एट होम एंड यू ऑल आर स्टेडी ओके चलिए सो टुडे वी विल डिस्कस अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक इट्स रिफ्लेक्स एक्शन बिफोर स्टार्टिंग रिफ्लेक्स एक्शन शुड अंडरस्टैंड सर्टेन बेस बेसिक थिंग्स ओके इट्स वेरी एसेंशियल ओके इफ यू जस्ट लिसन टू रिफ्लेक्स एक्शन नॉट अंडरस्टैंड इट ओके सो लेट्स स्टार्ट दैट फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल यू हैव टेक अ सिंपल एग्जांपल लेट्स I take an example of someone pinching you. Okay, if someone pinches you, definitely hurts, right? And you will take away your hand, isn't it? Isn't it? Right. So just understand this. Like this example, your skin is a sensory organ. Your skin is a is a sensory organ. If someone pinches you, definitely your skin will receive that particular physical action, isn't it? It is receiving that sense. Your skin is receiving that sense. And it's telling your brain something. That's why your brain is telling back to your to your hand to remove from that place or to move that your hand from that place, isn't it? So that part is we are going to basically going to discuss. So here, skin is a sensory organ. First thing starts with sensory organ. The sensory organ, some pinches you here. The skin detects it and converts it into an electrical impulse. Action potential. You remember previous video? Electrical impulse or action potential. Then that action potential is transferred from the sensory organ to your spinal cord or to your brain via your sensory neuron. So neuron will is present starting from your hand, your skin, extending all the way to your spinal cord or to your brain. Okay, fine. So that particular neuron is called sensory neuron. Understood? Why it's called sensory neuron? Because it's near to the sensory organ. It is uh, it is propagating the sense which your skin has detected. Okay, that sensory neuron then gets connected to a special neuron present inside your brain or inside your spinal cord. Such those special neurons are called interneurons. I N T E R interneurons. We will discuss now. Wait, interneurons. Then those interneurons is connected to motor neurons. These motor neurons are uh, neurons which carries the command given by your spinal cord or by your brain. Okay. Then it comes back your muscles and commands the muscles to move your hand. Okay. Now focus here. If you didn't understand, you will understand now. See, as I told you, sensory organ can be any sensory organ, eye, tongue, nose, skin, etc. Okay, the sensory organ receives that sense. Okay, these there are specialized cells present in the sensory organ which receive the sense. Such uh, specialized cells are called sensory receptors. Okay, but the sensory receptors transfer that sense into an electrical impulse. Okay, and that electrical impulse is is detected by the dendrite of the sensory neuron. See dendrite. Then this electrical signal passes to the dendrite to the dendron. Okay. Then it the acts on, of course, plasma membrane acts on. Then moves, 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 moves to the nerve end. Okay. Now this particular neuron here is called sensory neuron, which is near to the sensory organ. Then from the nerve end, of course, neurotransmitters are released and it actually communicates with the next neuron, that is your interneuron. Which is present in your brain or spinal cord. Now, this inner neuron is a typical neuron because its shape is the same shape which we are already studying. Okay. Now, in inner neurons, again the same way, then drive receives the signal and carries to dendrons. Then the cytoplasm I mean, acts on. Okay, and through the plasma membrane and reaches the now end. In the now end, again a signal is given given to the next neuron. Which is your motor neuron? The motor neurons are those neurons which connects your brain and spinal cord with the effector organ. Effector organ means the organ which has to take action. Say, for example, muscle or any gland or even your salivary gland. Okay, so so that motor neuron again receives the signal, then try to receive the signal, then dendron receives the signal, and then the plasma membrane carries, carries, and reaches the now end. From here to now, and it gives the signal to the effector organ, maybe salivary glands, let's say for example. And what is the effect? 
saliva is released. So uh, that command is given to the effector organ. So this pathway, okay, is called reflex arc. Okay, we'll discuss that. But basically, you just understand the skeleton of your uh, reflex action. Hope you understood.